Hi, Lindsay here. Can you humour me for a second, please? Look around the room that we're in at the moment and notice everything that's blue. It could be solid blue, it could be part blue, it could be mixed in with it. Just notice absolutely anything and everything that's blue in the room. Got it? Close your eyes for me. And now recall everything that's red in the room that you're in. You can open your eyes. It's difficult, isn't it? What this simple exercise is showing is actually how our minds work. Our energy flows where our focus goes. Okay, so when you're focusing on everything blue, it's like everything else kind of disappears around it and your mind is totally focused on seeing the blue, recalling the blue. Everything is focused around the blue. The same works in terms of um, negative thoughts. So when you are fixated on something negative, whether it's about yourself or a situation, you will continue to notice things that are negative around that, that reinforces that. You do have a choice though. You can choose to focus on the positives. So in terms of building confidence, focus on the compliments you receive. Focus on what you know you are good at. Focus on doing the things and thinking about the things that make you feel good, that give you confidence. The more you do that, the more you will continue to notice that. It is the principle that sits behind the gratitude journal. The gratitude journal is on a daily basis writing down things that you are grateful and thankful for. As you are writing it down, you are focusing your mind on that. That then has the added benefit of putting you at a predisposition to continue to notice on an ongoing basis the things in your life that are good, that you're grateful and thankful for. And I think that's a really positive mindset to constantly be in. So today, I invite and I encourage you to think about the positives, to think about what you want to achieve out of your life, to think about the confidence that you want to have. If you receive a compliment, say thank you and accept it. Let it sink in. If you notice there's some, some self-doubt coming in, maybe some negative self-talk, stop it. Just stop it and replace it with something that is more positive and resourceful for you to build your confidence. Tomorrow I will be sending you through some positive affirmations which will hopefully help you with replacing any negative self-talk that you might have at the moment. But hopefully today what I've shown you is the importance of why we have to control our minds, why we have to focus on the positives and the goods on an ongoing basis to really help build our own self-confidence. So that's a quick one for today. That's all. Thank you ever so much for listening and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.